Don't miss the woman whose waist is only this big. 68-year-old Cathy Young has lived in a corset for the last 22 years. 22 years. You'll be amazed at the result. Now, back in 1983, Cathy Young slipped into a corset and stayed there for the last 22 years. Yes, she's worn a corset 24 hours a day. Yeah. For that length of time, they saw her in a kind of a silhouette thing. And, uh, well, Cathy's waist is now officially the smallest waist in the world. And it measures just 15 inches. And Cathy joins us now. Hello there. Hello, Cathy. Hello. Are you all right? <gasps> wow. Is that, I mean, it, it's just the most, Denise, isn't that the most extraordinary tie I've ever seen? How can you I... breathe with that so tight? Just do it so gradually that it's not a problem at all. Right. Are you... I have to say, Cathy, you don't look comfortable. Are you comfortable? I am comfortable. And so I'm, I'm more or less comfortable depending on the height of a chair that I sit in, but uh, I'm, rel I'm quite comfortable. So you, what you're saying is because of the, the way that you've effectively shown... The lower you sit down, the more difficult so it is. So that means there are quite a few day-to-day -day things that you can no longer do because of the size of your waist. You can't mm. sit on a low chair is what you're saying there, for example. You choose your chairs. You choose your chairs. Okay. So, but there's really nothing I can't do. I, I sport fish and right. wearing a corset. Why did you decide to, to do this? What was the reason behind it? Because we're interested in Victorian costuming and in order to have some of the Victorian dresses and costumes look appropriate, they have to have the right underpinnings. Uh, so, so, do people in Victorian times have 15-inch waists? Waists? No, but it, you don't even really need to reduce your waist very much to have the shape change and have the silhouette look very Victorian and very comfortable. What so, do you eat? A carbs out of the picture. No, I eat very normally. I eat what I... I'm not a... Are big, you sure? Absolutely. But there's I'm, nothing that you can't eat? I'm not a big eater, but I, uh, I do yeah. eat... You do have to eat... Uh, Smaller portions, huh? so more regularly, uh, I see. which is, is they've shown now is healthier for all of us anyway, to eat, say, five or six smaller meals a day. Mm. So what happens when you go to sleep, then? What do you do I then? sleep in my corset. Do you? You sleep in a corset. How does that... Doesn't that make it just a little bit uncomfortable? How would you... Do you lie on a particular side? I mean, how, how do you sleep in a corset? It's fine. It's fine. I, just, you, I don't give it a second thought. I'm, I'm basically a procrastinator, so when I first started wearing a corset, I uh, would say, oh, I'll get up in the morning and put the corset on, and then it would be 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I wouldn't have gotten there. So I just started leaving it on at night. Mm -hmm. yeah, so what do your family and friends think of your tiny waist? Are they impressed? Um, it's mixed, a mixed bag. Uh, when you say mixed, what are those that are a bit negative? What, are the, what do they say about it? Um, I don't think there's anybody that's sort of middle of the road. People either really no, it. like it or they. Could you stand really up? Don't. Yeah, Could you mind standing up? Stand Let's stand have up. a look. Here we go. <gasps> oh wow, my it, looks, it sort of looks even smaller now. She's standing up. Absolutely tiny. <laughs> oh, my waist is more than twice yours. That's lovely to know. And can I ask you this? I am, have any of your organs moved as a result of the way that you've conditioned your waist there? Well, your stomach moves down yeah. and your uh, your uh, lungs move up a little bit. What but about not, your heart? Uh, that's pretty stable. We, we have x-rays. My husband is an orthopedic surgeon, so we have x-rays that have been taken for other reasons along the line, either before, we, before I was corseting right. and some that we've taken afterwards. And so... It's fine. But, if you think about it, realistically, when you're pregnant, your organs get moved all over the place. Yeah. So hang on, what yeah. about pregnancy? Have you, have you got children? I have children, but I didn't start lacing uh, or wearing a corset until my children were Oh, right. Oh, right. Children children right. Sit, right. sit down, feel free to sit down. Relax, down. relax there. Oh, what, what age did you start condition you, putting the corsets on and shrinking your waist? Well, how old were you when you started uh, with this business? My middle 40s. Middle 40s. Right. Is it, is it, is it, are you going to try and get any smaller or is that it now? Are you, are you no, on my clothes, the, my good clothes that I wear for parties and, yeah. and dress up and all are all custom made. And, 
I'm sure. And so there would be... Well, a bit... I don't think people should uh, in any way attempt this at home. No, I'm sure it's a I quite wouldn't. a skilled I thing. Wouldn't. Orthopedic surgeon as a husband. That's, uh, I imagine that helps. But thank you, Cathy. Thank, thank you very so much. much. It's lovely to see you and your tiny waist. Yeah, isn't it? It's uh, it's absolutely outstanding. I have but to say. But I think that anybody uh, anybody who's interested in in achieving the or even wearing a corset, yeah. uh, probably the several things that I would okay. say. All would right, be... we're going to have to move on. But Cathy, thank, thank you so you. much thank for that. You very much.